Hi there, I thought I'd just make a quick video on my latest multimeter meter acquisition. Um, this is my usual multimeter, which is excellent. It's a EEV blog uh, BM235 Bryman. Uh, these are excellent meters. Uh, this meter replaced my Fluke uh, meter that I had for years. 117 was a model of the Fluke. And this one had the extra feature of a temperature probe, which was good, and some other extra features over the fluke. Uh, microamps is another feature this had over the fluke. And um, so far, I've been really pleased with this. Only thing is, you can't get Bryman in Brazil, so I couldn't buy a, another Bryman. Um, this has been flawless and totally brilliant and accurate. The only two uh, quibbles I have with this, and it's probably because of the low ranges, it doesn't have a bar graph on here reading. And when you're talking about uh, a voltage that's unstable on, say, a power supply jittering up and down, this doesn't change fast enough. The characters don't change fast enough. Uh, whereas a bar graph, you can see the jittering in the supply a lot easier on this. So. On, on a bar graph model. Um, I think the the later ones in the ranges have, uh, the higher ones up have bar graphs, but this one doesn't. The other thing is sometimes the bale here isn't isn't that secure. This, this tends to fall over a bit on unstable surfaces. So that's the other little quibble I've got with here, but otherwise quality is fantastic. It's got a very nice uh, silicone and plastic based holder which is feels quite good uh, the probes standard probes you get with them are very good quality as well uh, these were gold plated but as you can see the gold plate is worn off now but these are still very good probes and i've this is great it's definitely worth replacing a lower end fluke for one of these in my opinion but anyway this uni t Unity have got a good reputation of being a pretty good uh, brand. They are, I think, Hong Kong brand or Chinese brand, but they are much better than the the usual um, batch that's coming out of China, especially the ones that are coming out of China right now, which uh, are not good in my opinion. I saw a teardown video of one of these, the UT61E, and uh, I saw that it was very well constructive, constructed, very well thought out. I think EEV blog showed a tear down of a uh, UT61E. Had very good protection, um, which is important when you're working on valve stuff. This is uh, category four, 600 volts, and category three, 1000 volts. So that's good protection. Um, again, like the Bryman, you've not only got amps, you've got milliamps and microamps. Milliamps is very, very important to me because uh, when you're measuring tube bias, you're measuring milliamps. And uh, so it's, it's very important to have milliamp reading. Uh, I was thinking about getting a, a cheap fluke, a 101 or 106, something like that, or even a, a 115. Um, and th they would be roughly in the same sort of ballpark as this, uh, what I paid for this uh, second hand. Um, but uh, all of them just have amps. They don't have milliamps or microamps and that is not useful for me because I do need milliamps. Plus they don't feature a bar graph like this does, which as I explained is, is something that is pretty pretty useful as well. Now the reason that prompted me to do this video is not only because uh, there isn't any uh, videos on this particular model, the UT61A on uh, YouTube, is because of this feature. On the Bryman, when I short the probes together, I get a reading here of 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6 if you're lucky. Okay, so if you're measuring a low resistance, uh, which I do quite a lot because uh, transist transistor resistances are often extremely low and as well as valve ones as well. You measure down to one ohm or 0.33 of an ohm, uh, which is a resistor I was trying to measure. Uh, this obviously you have to take into account a, a much higher 
resistance of the leads and there's no way you can zero that out you've just got to take away um, as I say this isn't that reliable when you short these probes you get a variation of um, 0.6 up to 0.9 when you short these probes so you can never be really that uh, reliable um, this one however is a different kettle of fish this one you have a button here rel and you can actually zero when you short the probes here as you see zero because I've calibrated them using this rel key so when I try and measure a 0.33 ohm resistor I get to the nearest decimal, decimal place I get 0.3 or 0.4 depending so this is a very important feature for me plus the fact it's got a bar graph really 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 good um, if you go up in the range the UT61 D and E uh, you get some extra features on there uh, namely RS232 um, infrared um, support this has got the cover on the back here and it's even got the leads in the back but it doesn't support RS232 um, protocol on this particular model but I wouldn't use it anyway I'm not uh, data logging I'm just using this as an everyday meter uh, but this one this one has got everything I need uh, stable it's well constructed um, so yeah if you're after a, a meter that's uh, that's fairly good and you need milliamps and microamps or whatever I would definitely recommend these very good very robust very reliable uh, there we go I hope this video was some use to someone um, as I say if you can get a UT61E that's probably the best in the range um, it's got some better features plus the UT61D and E are both true RMS this one isn't this is mean voltage uh, it doesn't make a lot of difference to me uh, for the voltage I'm measuring but if that's important to you then the UT61 D and E are the ones to go for but for, as for me it doesn't really matter uh, the very important thing is that it measures milliamps accurately and so far this has been really accurate uh, really accurate on resistance for reasons I've mentioned and it is accurate it's very very good on measuring capacitors as well accurate um, so yeah I totally recommend a Unity anyway thanks very much for watching and I hope you had some use out this video you had some value and if you like this video please like and subscribe um, I'm hovering around the 600 um, subscriber mark at the moment uh, when I get to a thousand I can maybe monetize on my videos but all the videos I've made about reel to reels and um, synths and amps and all sort of electronic audio uh, things they've been very well liked I've had a lot of uh, views on them and a lot of likes and a lot of questions but I can't uh, monetize for my time I'm making them because uh, eBay don't monetize channels unless they've got at least a thousand subscribers so if you could subscribe that would be brilliant uh, not that I want to make loads of money particularly by this but um, I'm still uh, disabled and um, I should be retired but I'm having to work so it would be great if you could help out God bless thanks very much for watching